Hey, what's up amigos? Today I'm going to show you how I shot and edited this photo in Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so I shot this photo last year and I thought I'd give you a walkthrough on how I edited this photo. So before we start, it's very important to know that this is not a real car and it's rather a die-cast scale model by AutoArt. I've left a link to their website in the description below. I really recommend that you would try and photograph a um, model car. You would learn a lot. For me, I've learned a lot about the pen tool, how to use it more precisely. I learned about more, uh, more about composition and how to add the backdrops, how to add the shadows and so on forth. All right, so let's just get started here. This is the original photo. This is what this was shot just like directly on the street next to my house. And uh, this is the final image. Now we're going to move to Photoshop to show you exactly how it was built. Oh, just like a walkthrough. All right, so we have the road. This is something that I got from Shutterstock. I felt that it would fit the angle that the car was shot at. And uh, yeah, I added a an exposure adjustment layer, just like, uh, just decreased a bit of the exposure. Nothing too much, not too much. And then I added a vignette to add that sort of gritty effect. All right, now moving onwards with the car itself. This is the car. I've used the pen tool to cut it out, as you can see. And without it, it will be the road. And so far, it looks fake. Why? Because of the, you know, the shadows. I don't have proper shadows around it. Now, if I add that shadow, it'll look real. So shadows would make or break the composition, really. Plus, of course, other elements. All right, moving onwards, I added a channel mixer with uh, just like 10% of opacity, nothing fancy. And then I burned parts of the car uh, using a curves adjustment layer. And then I added a mask to selectively burn uh, parts of the car that I really wanted to darken. All right, and similarly with the Dodge layer, I added a curves adjustment and uh, increase the mid-tone just put a bit on the mid-tones and then I added a mask and selectively added the highlights to the car I then added a contrast adjustment layer which is via curves as well as you can see this is an S curve and it's been applied to the car I then darkened a bit the front of the car just to hide these highlights in the front there all right so now moving onwards to the brake or tail light I've added a bit of red with a brush very soft brush as you can see and then I found an image of the um, the back light on Google and then I transformed it and added it to the car let's see how it looked before without the mask there you go and then I painted with a very soft brush on top of it and set the layer blending mode to screen I believe this is the color cast I've added a bit of color on the road just to to portray this color cast coming down from the tail light and similarly I added another one right here and then of course I copied that group and adjusted the brakes or the brake light the right brake light similar to the one on the left moving onwards and I added a bit of you know, with a soft brush, I brushed over here and then set the screen mode to, uh, sorry, the blending mode to screen. And yeah, I mean, I had to darken this 
because it just had a lot of reflections of the of basically our house and uh, just blacked it out completely. This is a basic contrast uh, layer with 18%. I've used Color Effects Pro to add a bit of contrast. And I added a bit of shadows, more shadows, just to give it that feel as if the light source was coming down from this side. Let's turn it on and off, on and off, and you can see it added that bit of look to the to the car. I then color graded the image using Curves RGB layer. So I went to each channel and I adjusted it to my taste. And set the uh, blending mode to color. I then added the channel mixer, not too much, just 11% for the overall of the image. And of course, I've sharpened the image. All right, so that's it with Photoshop right now. And then I moved it back to Lightroom in which I've added a bit of clarity, vibrance, decreased a bit of the saturation, selectively added saturation. And I just like added a bit of yellow just to enhance the yellows. And then used this split toning to add a bit of blues to the shadows. Add a bit of sharpening again, but really the mask was about 94%. And of course, I added a bit of vignette. And that's it, fellas. Um, I really recommend that you get into this type of photography for a while. It will teach you a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's easier to stage a die-cast model car than staging a real car in real life also you have you know easier angles to shoot it from it will teach you a lot about composition and how to use the pen tool uh, will, you will learn definitely more about the shadows how to color balance everything together if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below this was Moo again with you amigos uh -huh.